Okay guys, I have the Sephora purple clay mask right here. This is the moisturizing and smoothing one. Um, right now, I just washed my face, got rid of all my makeup. So this is freshly washed face. Um, it suggests that you apply on clean and dry skin, either entire face or multi-masking zones. Leave on for 15 minutes, it will dry completely. Rinse well with lukewarm water. This one is supposed to provide intense hydration, soothe the skin, smooth the skin, and for skin that's hydrated, softer, and looks denser. So let's get into it. Let's see. So just from this package is like 1.18 flow ounces. It suggests on the back um, to use it two times per week. So you guys know from my Sephora haul that I had three of these. I have the purple, blue, and pink mask. And I said I was gonna start using a brush to apply my mask. Um, clearly, that has not occurred yet, but we'll get there eventually. So I'm just making sure this is opaque applying to my face, that I'm not having any like blank spots. And just for me using the blue one already, which is the oxygenating and detoxifying one, this mask goes a long way. Like, you can get more. It says it only has four uses in it, but you can definitely get more than four uses out of this mask, even with applying it like thick onto your face, which is what I'm doing. And I like to do it under my chin and neck area. We want all of our face to be smooth. And it's so creamy. The application is really easy. It's very creamy. Don't have to worry about the application process. This one is even smoother than the other one because the other one is more exfoliating one. This is supposed to add a lot of moisture. Um, I definitely feel like some tingling going on on my face right now, which I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's because I just exfoliated um, using my Foreo. It smells pretty good. It has like a fresh kind of scent to it. It doesn't like smell like anything in particular. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and I'm gonna rinse it off and come back to you guys and show you guys what my skin feels like afterwards. So, see you soon. I just rinsed the clay mask off, the purple clay mask off, and here are my results. My skin is very soft. It feels smooth. Um, it probably helped that I exfoliated with my Luna Mini 2 as well with my Fario, but so far so good. It left my skin feeling soft it doesn't feel super duper dry but just to make sure i seal in and add a lot of moisture to my skin i'm going to be using the tart maracuja oil which you guys know i like to use in my skincare routine especially in the winter time so i'm just going to be adding these drops on to my face i'm just going to seal in this moisture and make sure that my face stays soft and moisturized throughout the night. It also gives my skin like a really nice glow. They like your moisturizer and stuff because you don't want to add to like getting wrinkles and stuff. So you're supposed to like apply it like this and all that. I don't always see that. I right? be like rubbing it on. Mm -hmm. So just because I have this, you know, the blemish on my forehead that's all red and gross looking and I have one like here I'm going to here and here the gross spots I'm going to use the Mario Badescu drying lotion I know this was supposed to be just like a mask review but why not show you guys what I do when I have a blemish so you're supposed to just like dip it straight in not shake it and then apply it to the 
trouble spot. So that's the definite trouble spot right there. This was like dry out the blemish. I'm just looking for any other spots. I don't know, my hormones, these are hormonal. Because I really pretty much have gotten like rid of my acne, thank the Lord. Hopefully I don't get any adult acne <laughs> coming back to haunt me. But um, in high school, was it high school or middle school? I feel like high school into middle school into high school, like when your hormones are like going crazy, that's when I really had like a flare up of acne. But I use proactive and like proactive really cleared up my skin, but it's like you have to keep using proactive to keep your skin clear. Um, but then I just like started using purity um, and just philosophy skincare and that like has kept my skin pretty much you know together i don't have really any issues with my skin just now it's like about getting rid of my hyperpigmentation which i've talked to you guys about on my channel i just want to get rid of this hyperpigmentation get rid of these dark marks um and then i'll be completely happy because you know my skin so far is like done really well um so i'm happy with my skin but let's we're doing this little spot treatments just to clear out any blemishes, prevent any issue spots. But you guys see my results. My skin is glowing, my skin is soft and moisturized. I really like that mask, so this is my first impression review. I really enjoyed using it. It was relaxing, soothing, all that stuff. So if you guys are interested in the Sephora clay mask, I definitely would suggest the purple one. So far, so good with that. I haven't had experienced any issues for my first use. So definitely check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you press that subscribe button. Show me some love. Follow me on Instagram where I'll be talking more about my skincare routine and the Sephora clay mask. And just make sure you share this video with a friend. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, love bugs.